All right, so I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but I've been scraping the old carpet. I have this 89 Hydra Sport on the front and both the rear, all by hand with a standard flat scraper. Still relatively dull, been a pain in the ass. Didn't think about it earlier, or weeks ago is when I started this, doing little by little, that we have one of these, this is a cheap Harbor Freight, oscillating multi-function scraper, cutter, majigger side, don't know what to call it. It's been sitting on the shelf on a workbench for a while. Walked right past it, saw it, said, hey, maybe that's a better idea. So picked it up and to my surprise, like I say, my lot self a lot of headaches and blisters and pain in the ass trying to get this old carpet glue and carpet up. Front, rear deck, now I'm in the cockpit, hell area. But give you a little demonstration here of how much easier this is than hand scraping all this shit. So I'm gonna move the camera down here and we'll get started. All right, for instance, right now, it's just a couple bit. And this, of course, this stuff's still real old, flaky, falling apart. So it's really not terrible, but it's gonna be a bit of a big headache. So as of now, we'll just start with a regular scraper. And of course, you gotta put a little bit of effort behind it. It does come off, not easy, but it does come off relatively easy there's a soft spot here so it's kind of flexing make it a little bit harder than it should be with the hand scraper and note we've done pretty much all of this that you see around all by hand so far and a little bit with a floor scraper but that really didn't help so but did front rear deck that way pain in the ass blisters normal shit got a little projects and now I'll switch over to the zipper with the rigid scraper blade on it and excuse me, I got to use a tool to cut this on. And of course, it's not working as easy. stuff out so you can see a little bit As you can see that works a lot easier than scraping in the same area with just a standard scraper. A lot less elbow grease, a lot less pain in the ass. So that was a bit of carpet. I'll do one more little piece as my deck's cracking back here because I got soft spots. Do one more piece and I'll move on to the glue residue. So just for reference. Oh, <laughs> 
See, that works a lot better. All right, now we'll move on to the glue. No, not much carpet left on top of it. But once again, back to a normal scraper. And it does come off. We might find this might be a little easier, still pain in the ass though. See, it does not really want to come off easily. So let's give this a try. And Sounds like it's dying on me. Sometimes you get into glass a little bit. That's all right. 